Welcome back guys. This is part B, I guess you could say, of the Crock-Pot build. In the last video, or the previous video, I we got to um, the point where we were wrapping this white paper or your magazine or whatever. You will wrap this around twice and try to end it somewhere near where the cord comes out of the bottom. Um, then, if you're this far, you turn it over and don't don't use a sharp tool like I did. But look, I went around the cord and pressed it all down so that you get a better look. Let me see if I can get the light off of it. You get a better look of that heating element. Let's see if I can. Sorry about the. Let's see, you can tell it actually looks real. Not that anybody will pick it up and look at it much, but in the event they do, and if you actually did yours, you'll see it better. So, then you wrap your four glued pieces of paper around the outside twice. Now then next, we're going to do, so you already got your silver bottom. That's already done. If you don't like the way it looks, and I'm, I'm not going to do this, but if you don't like the way it looks, you can take another circle from your aluminum foil and tamp that down in there and re-glue it. I'm not going to go that far, guys, because this is just a tutorial. Later on, if I want to, I can. So, I cut a strip of aluminum foil, and I used my paper cutter so that it's pretty even. I used my pick-me-up tool to wrap it, and that way I could just kind of get it down in there. Now then, I always start where the cord comes out. That's just my starting point. And I got this aluminum foil small enough to go inside there where I can work with it. So we're going to be gluing this on the inside. I don't use a lot of glue and again like I said I use the um, the tacky glue because it works faster. And so we will take this and don't worry about it going over the top if it does we're going to trim it. So we glue it a little at a time. And again, like I said, don't don't worry if it sticks over the top. We have a solution for that. So you're going to go all the way around. And see how quick that grabs. We're going to go all the way around. And then just take your tacky glue in this way. Then again, put this in there. Like I said, I start where that cord is. And I get that pushed down in there. And then I just finagle it. Just push down, push down, push down all the way around until it fits the way for you, the way you like for it to fit. And the ones that don't let your glue dry just yet. Once you're where you like it. Start trimming again this way. Starting with the bottom first, where you know it's already been glued. Again, take your tacky glue and start going around the edge. Pressing these down as you go. And this gives you a nice finished edge. And you don't have to be too, again, with this section, you don't have to be too careful because we're ultimately going to cover this up with a piece of decorative paper. This just gives you that nice finish. Okay. 
In this piece, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to You see this little extra piece here? We're going to take our exacto knife and we're going to trim that so that it fits. You're going to trim it if I could find my exacto knife. And all the mess I've made here this morning, guys, I have lost it. There it is. So <clears throat> you'll go on the inside and you'll just very carefully cut that. And even if it's not perfect, it won't matter. I'm going to peel that up. Put just a little bit of tacky glue in there, spread that around, and then just smooth it down. Again, make sure it's all the way to the bottom. And at this point, you're going to have almost a complete crock pot. Now see, you've got that inside. I used metal tape on mine, which I had explained in an earlier video. If you have the metal tape, it does do nicer, or if you have the heavier aluminum foil, it's, it's a little harder to work with, but it does a little better job. So, now we take the decorative glue. I'm going to go ahead and, the decorative paper I meant to say. It's going to go on next. Now, I, I bent mine. I took the liberty, liberty of bending mine so that my design is going to be basically centered on my crock pot. So it'll go around like so. So if you've done this, you're going to go ahead and take your decorative paper at this point, whichever you've chose, and just like the four pieces of paper, you're going to glue that around now on the back side, I want to show you a OCD me thing that I did. I cut it so that it bends this way. See my little zigzag in the paper? This way, when I cut this paper, it's going to fit right into there. So this is going to be the first piece I glue. Sorry guys about the paper. This is going to be the first piece I glue. And then I'll go counterclockwise. So that's going to be my first and it's going to go right above my cord. Oh, by the way, that I've already painted black so that it would dry. You can do this last, but we're going to start here and go around counterclockwise. So again, we're going to use the tacky glue. And I let it grab a little before I move forward. Just like that. And then I'm going to show you a trick in the very end. I get that to glue down and I kind of press as I go. Then I'll flip this piece back around. And you can see it's already starting to stick where I had had the tacky glue. So we're just going to tacky glue and wrap. Just like so. And wrap and make sure you're level on the top. Level on the top until we come around to this piece. Now, I'm confident that this is going to match up. This side, I don't need to worry. And that's where I've made my little flap. So I'm going to cut this really close To that little flap. I'm going to cut this one right there. Okay, so now when I come around, I'm going to measure this to make sure it fits. And see, I've got that little overlap. I'm going to trim just a slight, small piece more, you know, just a little bit more off. Gotta trim it right like so and see if it fits. Nope, it's still a little big, so I can actually go to right there. So then, it fits. Okay, so I'm going to glue this section now. Now, 
So you can see guys, each one of these little sections of this build takes about a good 10 minutes without prep work. So if you're prepping as you go, this could probably take up to about maybe an hour in and of itself um, with no extras. And then see I glued that. Now I'm just going to fold that over. And it's right above where my cord comes up. Now I'm going to need to hold that so that it stays. I'm actually thinking I like this one better than my first one. Hopefully I didn't get glue nor paint. I probably should have put a crafting shirt on. Okay, so see, now, if you didn't want to cover that with the foil like I did on my first one, well, no, I didn't. I thought I covered it with foil. See, on my first one, there's just that line. And that's okay if you want to do it that way. But this one has just a little bit more of a factory look. And then your designs almost line up perfectly. So, front and right in the center, this is where we're going to add that knob. And I have not baked mine yet, so it's, it's just going to be there for looks only. So you'll take the knob that we made in that first video and you're going to... It, yours will be baked or already made. I'll get it to stick here guys. And it's going to look like that. Okay, see how cool that is? And then this portion is almost complete. Now what you're going to want to do, and, and if you look the top, you've already got that metal trim going around. So you can leave it that way, or you can do what we're going to do on the bottom, on the top. So on the bottom, I'm going to take my knob off so I don't lose it, guys, but that's how it'll look once it's on there. And you can also indicate a high, low whatever you want button on there. It would be difficult to see in real life, but there it is. So I'm going to take this off so I don't lose it. And then, this is going to be the bottom piece. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to go around, again, starting from, use your straight edge, use the edge that's the prettiest, and you're going to glue that all the way around the bottom starting with that factory cut we talked about. You'll go just over that, okay? You're going to glue this all the way around the bottom. And then once you've glued that all the way around the bottom, you're going to see this little edge up here. Whoops, get focus. See that little edge? You're going to bend that over, okay? So get that far, guys. And in the next video, we'll actually create the pot and the lid. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.